we need to understand the connection between the dust kwa nini tu, inatupasa tuelewe maunganiko yaliyoko katikati ya, mwa, ya mavumbi our lives maisha yetu and the challenges that we face na mambo ambayo tunakumbana nayo the dust has power to listen and Mavu- obey your command mavumbi yako na nguvu ya kusikiza na kufanya vile umeambia do you know that dust is connected to your nature najua ya kwamba vumbi imeunganishwa na mambo ambayo tunayaona these are things that happened haya ni mambo yaliyotendeka aaron struck the dust Aruni akagonga mavumbi the dust became lice haya mavumbi yakafanyika viroboto and everything is a spirit na kila kitu ni roho both the living and the non-living yote yanayoishi na yasioishi in the spiritual realm everything is living katika ulimwengu wa kiroho kila kitu kinaishi sometimes the dust can represent challenges wakati mwingine vumbi inaweza kuwa inamaanisha changamoto tunazopitia Even the devil understands the mystery of the dust. Hata shetani anaelewa mambo fiche katika vumbi. That's why he has been using it to torment. Ndio maana amekuwa akiitumia ili akaweza kufinyilia, destroy, kuharibu and attack na, na kuharibu hatima ya mtu. Moses was a man who understood the mystery of the dust. Musa alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa ameelewa mambo fiche katika vumbi. He knew that the dust can be used as a source of blessing. Alijua ya kwamba vumbi inaweza tumika kama mahali pa kutoa baraka or bondage to mankind ama ufungwa katika maisha ya mwanadamu. Now let me come to real life. Nataka nikuje katika maisha ya kawaida. There are people kuna watu by the virtue of where they come from. Kwa sababu ya mahali ambapo wametoka. If the soil of that land was dedicated. Kama mchanga wa hiyo shamba ulikuwa umepeanwa mahali. No matter how they try to go far they will be pulled back hata wakijaribu kwenda mbali kiasi gani watarudishwa nyuma there are others kuna wengine the land they live in mahali wanaishi they never experience peace huwa hawana amani kabisa and you find unless that soil is delivered na labda huo mchanga ukombolewe all those people move ama hao watu waondoke they suffer troubles and tragedies after tragedies kila wakati watakuwa wanakumbana na changamoto kila wakati Sometimes by the direction of God there are people that God has delivered their lands and others he has commanded to move because the battle and the sacrifice in that land is just too big they cannot move it. Wengine Mungu amekubali kuwakomboa katika yale mashamba na wengine tu amewakubali wakaondoke kwa sababu vita hapo hapo ni vikubwa. And you know Christians take things very easy. Na unajua wa Kristo uchukulia mambo juu juu. They will say by the blood of Jesus Christ everything is sanctified. Wanasema kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo kila kitu kimeosho. Let me warn you. Nataka nikupe tahadhari. The sacrifice that has been given by the other kingdom. Dhabihu ambayo imetolewa na ufalme ule mwingine. If it's greater than the sacrifice you've given in prayer. Kama ni kubwa kuliko ile dhabihu umetoa katika maombi. No matter what hata ukijaribu jinsi gani you will always be under their authority kila wakati utakuwa chini ya mamlaka yao because this world is about powers principalities authorities and rulers kwa sababu nchi hii dunia hii imejawa na nguvu mamlaka tawala na ufalme if you are not the one that is on top they are on top kama si wewe uko juu wako juu it's good to understand ni vizuri kuelewa the soil of where you live or where you are coming from what does it speak over your life ni nini mchanga ambao umetoka mahali uh, mahali pake unanena juu yako 